guys, Zach Evanesh, UndergroundStrengthShow.tv, and have a very cool um, Underground Strength Show. And uh, an email was forwarded to me. Uh, another coach had sent out an email about a book that I love, and uh, it's Convict Conditioning right here. This is actually the original one. You can see I had one of the earlier versions, um, and I gave another version to one of my uh, high school wrestlers who's used it on his own in, conjun in conjunction with the methods and the workouts he does at the Underground Strength Gym. Dude's tearing it up pound for pound on the strongest guys we've got. Now, the, uh, <clears throat> the email that was sent to me was basically the guy was like saying, hey man, you know, who is Paul, Coach Wade? You know, it's BS, he's a fraud, it's a lie, and isn't it odd that... Um, uh, Pavel Satsuline wrote the book and did the DVD, The Naked Warrior, and he works for Dragon Door and blah, 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 so they were crying about it. Now, the number one thing when I got this book was you open it up and there's immediately a disclaimer. And it tells you that this book is intended for entertainment purposes only. It's not a biography. The names, history, circumstances of the individuals featured in the book accordingly may have changed either partially or completely okay so they tell you straight up that hey this could be partially partially fictional um, and then the other thing that the guy was talking about was he's like dude the guys in the prison aren't trying to do pistols or one-arm handstand uh, push-ups and things like that now if anybody's been following me for a long time you saw years ago and I'm gonna link it up on this blog post Years ago, I took a trip to uh, East Jersey State Prison, which is also called, sometimes called Rawway State Prison. If you ever saw that old movie with Sly, uh, the movie Lock Up, that's where it was filmed. And Sly actually bought those guys um, a 400-meter track out back. So I actually had face-to-face -face time, probably over an hour, with one of the biggest guys, probably was the biggest, strongest guy in that prison, uh, I think it was like 275, something like that. I mean, it's probably been about five years since I was there. And then I got to speak, basically had to, got to speak to like the two different schools of thought on training. It just worked out that way. It was ironic. Um, the other crew that I spoke to, those are the guys that were uh, do that scared straight program. They're called the Lifers. These guys were awesome. They were on the former boxing team. And they were all body weight. They didn't do any of the heavy lifting. They were all like 165, 175, 185, very lean. Uh, they spoke to me about their program. So you'll be able to see what they did. I really detail, you know, my time going into that prison. Um, I spent, uh, man, I must have been there four or five hours. I spent a good chunk of time there. Now, uh, another thing I want to tell about the guy said, hey, they don't do these pistols and things like that. Well, in the underground inner circle... I interviewed a guy uh, a couple years ago who spent ye several years um, in the uh, in a county prison out in L.A. and he went there with a back injury. He was seriously injured, and he had to find a way to get himself strong. And in that interview, he told me about all the body weight training that he did. And no, he didn't say they were doing one hand handstand push-ups. Um, they were not doing uh, pistols. But man, they were doing all kinds of partner-based stuff. So if you were doing push-ups, you would have like one or two guys like weighing down on your back. If you did squats, a partner was like on your shoulders. They did stuff where like in the cell, they hung up, um, they took like their bed sheets and tied them up from like their bunks to the uh, cell door so that they could do pull-ups on it or they could elevate their feet and do pull-ups against the... Uh, you know, the steel door without their bodies banging into it. Speaks about a lot of other things, about a lot of training for flexibility, meditation, how he got himself strong. And uh, pound for pound, that guy was brutally strong. Um, when he got out, you know, he fell in love with uh, the fitness industry and fitness world. And uh, I saw video footage of him doing a barbell, a one-handed barbell power clean with 185, and then he strict pressed it. It was sick. Um, unfortunately, that guy has passed on, and uh, the guy was really an amazing guy, and the information he gave was amazing. And I think that's what we need to focus on, is that the info in convict conditioning is amazing. That's the bottom line. It's great stuff. 
Um, I don't do the pistols. I don't do the one-hand handstand push-ups. You know, my focus is big time on the basics. I'm sure that's what the guys do in prison. You know, I'll link you up to some other videos I found um, on uh, YouTube from when they go and do the filming of those guys training. But the bottom line is the stuff in convict conditioning works. Did Pavel help write it? I have no clue. And if he did, let me tell you something. I don't care. When that guy speaks, I listen. Every time he talks to me about training, I come away just extremely smarter and more knowledgeable and stronger. And uh, when that guy speaks, you know, you'd be a fool not to listen. Um, I'm not sure who wrote that book. And I'm not going to be the guy that's saying, oh, it's fake, it's this or that. They came out with that disclaimer. That's number one. Number two, it's all about the information that's given in there. The information in this book provided is powerful. And that's why I love that book. And anybody could use it. And I think that that should really be a starting point for people in fitness. ConvictConditioningWorkout.com. Get that book. It takes you through all the beginner steps. I mean, you just can't go wrong with it. And that's my take on, you know, people calling out convict conditioning saying, hey, you know, this is a fraud. There's no such person as uh, Coach Paul Wade, blah, blah, blah. If there is or there isn't, ask me if I care. The information's great. It's legit. I use it. I have my athletes use it. People around the world use it. This, this book's phenomenal. And uh, don't forget, if you're here at undergroundstrengthshow.tv, look under this video. I'm linking you up to the uh, two prison articles I did when I uh, went to uh, Rawway. Or it's actually Avenel. They call it Rawway, East Jersey State Prison. And uh, I will try to link up some other past videos that I found on YouTube that you'll find real powerful with body weight training. And the most thing here is it takes away any excuses that could be made. All right? So, and by the way, you guys could see we've got, you know, all these training books. Check them all out. A lot of stuff going on here. A lot of stuff. And, of course, love going into my old. This is where the old stuff is. Piles of stuff here. Ask me if I care who wrote it. I care about the knowledge and the information that's passed on. That's it. All right, guys. Peace out. UndergroundStrengthShow.tv. Take care. Comb your hair. Pow. Later. Got a lot of uh, sharks out there trying to take a bite of something. It was hot. A lot of chameleons out there trying to change up anytime something new comes along. Everybody wants a bite. Don't happen overnight. So you wanna be a rock superstar?